Hello there, what have you been doing? Today we are gonna looking at uh, appending the new data into our existing shape file. Before we, before we get started, today we are gonna break the rules and we are gonna hit that subscribe button and then we are gonna get started with the video. So for doing this I have loaded three, three different shape file. The first one it is the source shape file where we are gonna append other new data and we have um, we have the shape 2 which has the same structure of a table of attribute we see the first one has the structure the second one has the same structure the field name means that we have the same fields and we have the same field names per each and the third one uh, has a different structure so means that we have different field names and different fields as numbers now let's let's get started firstly with a first uh, with a first uh, shape file which is the same as our source data so for doing this i am opening the arc toolbox i am expanding data management general we have append here we have also merge this merge here it is the same merge as geoprocessing you know that if we merge this data is gonna be a new a new shape file with a big uh, with a big uh, table of attribute and uh, several uh, new several new fields will be added but we don't want to that we want to append the new data into existing one because our existing shape file may be uh, maybe a central database a SQL server not not a simple shape file so we can this means that we cannot create a new one we have to append to our existing so for this we are gonna apply the append append toolbox here if we double click to append the new window will be shown on the screen so for here we have a we, we have the input data set uh, firstly we are gonna use the same structure as the input uh, here we may we, we, we may include several feature class if we have several uh, and as a target data set we are gonna we are gonna input the shape one where where we want to send the data now the schema type we have two two options one schema type it is test and one it is no test this means that if we choose the test schema type means that the structure should be the same otherwise this won't accept the the command if we choose not test means that our shape file may have different structure we have our shape files has the same structure so we are gonna choose test test schema type in field map nothing is happening because they have the same structure i'm gonna click ok now and we will see that the new data are appended to the old one here we are if i remove the if i remove the shape two, we are gonna see that the the first uh, the first shape file is gonna is gonna be bigger now we have the shape three to append into the shape one but the shape three has different structure and more more column than the first one so i am clicking still append and we are gonna choose as shape three as input data set and the shape one as a target data set and now we are gonna choose the no test option because the shape files has have different options have different uh, different structure of database sorry now now we have to we have to map this field one by one manually so the so the arc map knows that the osm uh, id it is uh, it is the one that we choose or the code is the is the is the other one so for doing that we right click to the field name and we choose add input field now we have the option to choose on the shape 3 which field should be mapped with osm id we have written as id which is the same one now now we click id and we click ok we see that a plus is a is a, is shown here if we open the plus we see that the shape 3 
the, the OSM ID, it is connected with a shape three different structure dot ID, means that it is connected with this field. Now we are gonna do the same for other field, code with code one, feature class with a classification, a name with, a, the, with description. If you see, I have left two fields without map mapping, remarks and others, means that uh, these two fields are not gonna be transferred into, into, the main, into the main shape file, which is the shape one. And if we check the shape one and we go to the end, to the end, because uh, uh, our our new our new new data will be extended, will be the seven seven hundred forty one, seven hundred forty two, etc. Until the end, we will see that we will have just an append to this data. We won't have any other new new fields or any other field names, something different. Now let's click OK. It is closed. It is completed. Okay. Uh, here we are not gonna see nothing because we have to we have to open we have to close and reopen the table of attribute. Right click to the shape files and we see the table of attribute. We remember that we were at seven seven hundred and forty. Now we will see that they are more than seven hundred and forty. And we, if we if we select manually 740 until to the end, we will see that our here from here to the end, we will see that our appended are just the just the shape three, and they are and they are full appended to the existing shape file. This is the the way how do we append the new data into the old shape file or feature class or geodatabase or any other server connection that you may have because you may have a connection with a server and you cannot you cannot change the shape files or structures or something or nothing you just can add or you can start editing and copy and paste and this is all for this tutorial i hope you learned a new skill for this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye